Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 217. <clears throat> 7 plus 5 plus 5 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 20 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 217 because math. I don't know about any of you out there, but I could never do that. Really? I know it's just arithmetic. She does it every week. It, I, the way that, and I think I've said this before, but the way that I look at it is not 217. I, I look know. at it as $2.17. Is that how you do it? Yep. Like it's Like it's change? Yep. I'm counting it out for someone. Secrets revealed. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. If you want to count like Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend it's money. Pretend it's cash. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about big bucks here, people. Yeah. Two dollars and seventeen cents. Okay. All right. Well, we hope um, we hope you've had a good week. We've had a pretty yeah. good week. Yep. Um, welcome to anybody that's new. Yes. Um, and um, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. It's a larger club, and um, than any other club you'll ever be in. No, no, no. I'm kidding. No, it's larger than it used to be. Yes. And um, it's larger and, than it was and, when we started. And we do plan on celebrating that, um, but it might be a while. Yeah. Uh, since um, we have a pretty busy September coming up. And October, frankly. And October, frankly. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so anyway. Let's see. You want to start off with talking about Expo. Yes. So. Um, we, Some more about Expo. Right, right, right. So, my disclaimer, um, that it's, whenever I talk about keepsake stuff, so, um, for anyone who is new, we, li we live in Cincinnati, Ohio. The needle workshop here in Cincinnati is keepsakes. I am an employee at keepsakes. Um, I'm also, one of my big responsibilities is social media, and so, when there is keepsakes news to be shared, I share it with our audience. That's right. you. Right. Uh, so for anyone who has uh, placed, who had placed a Needlework Expo pre-order with us, items have started to arrive at Keepsakes, which is exciting. Yeah, um, that's quick, I think. Yeah, um, it's like Christmas. Um, so yeah. that's super, super fun. So um, I also, under my responsibilities, is shipping. Um, I'm not going to be in Cincinnati this upcoming weekend. So we are going to try really hard um, the, the front half of this week before I leave to um, get orders out that are fulfilled. We haven't gotten everything yet. Some of our larger orders are still outstanding. So, um, but, so please um, look forward to that if you yeah, are somebody. And that's exciting. I am, so Keep Six is closed tomorrow for Labor Day. Monday. Monday. Labor Day in the U.S. Yes, and on September 6th. Right. Um, however, I'm going in tomorrow afternoon because I'm going to sleep in because it's my day out. Um, but I'm going to go into Keep Six in the afternoon and I'm going to start um, fulfilling orders of the items that have come in so far. Um, and so if you are some, so if you get a call from Keep Six tomorrow, it's legit. I'm the one there. So, um, <laughs> I'm not going to be actively... You pumped. might have a hard time reaching people. They'll be picnicking and camping and... Well, then they can call us back on Tuesday. Okay. And we're just that... I'm just saying. Along. Anyway. So, um, I can get a ton of stuff done because the shop's not open. So, and it's just me. So, I'm really looking forward to that. And um, it's fun to get goodies to people. So, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is going to happen this week. Um, if you don't hear from us, it's just because we don't have your stuff in yet. Yeah. So it's as simple as that. Right. Um, then the next item on the docket is um, this past Wednesday, September 1st, mm -hmm. um, was the day that the StitchCon 2022 wait list went live. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, a huge, huge thank you. Yeah. For all of the enthusiasm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, everyone was like, I'm, I hope you were able to handle today. And like, yes, it's a lot of work, but I did a lot of work leading up to it. Yeah. That that way on Wednesday, it was just like, watch the names come in type of deal. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it was wild. It, it was, was wild. wild. So, um, so the team and, you know, we had all talked long before the wait list went up mm -hmm. about well, what number is it at capacity, right? 
Um, and so we had made the decision that 900 submissions feels like a good spot to close it um, because we have to fill 600 spots and that leaves about 300 names left over for the wait list or however many months away feels like a good thing. So yep. um, never in a million years mm -hmm. did I think that we were going to have to close the wait list less than three hours after it opened. Yeah. So um, it's not an error. It's not a fluke. It really truly is closed. Um, but if you missed the boat on putting your name on the wait list, please do not despair. Don't lose hope. Right. Um, the last thing you give up is hope. Correct. So we will keep the StitchCon website updated. First and foremost, mm -hmm. we will share on our floss tube. We will share on the Keep 6 Instagram page what's going on with that and the status of that. So just as a refresher for folks to so you know. Yeah. When you put your name on the wait list on Wednesday, if and when you did that, the fact that you did that does not guarantee you have a spot at StitchCon. Invoices for StitchCon will begin going out on Wednesday, October 6th at noon Eastern. It is not until you get and pay that invoice that you have a confirmed spot at StitchCon 2022. That's right. So I saw a lot of verbiage of like, I got in, I got in. And I know that like, I, I'm hopeful that when you say that, you mean I got my name in, I got my name in. But it wor it still worries us. Yeah. And we're like, we don't want people to get it twisted that like, you know, anyway. I got a spot. I got a spot. Right, right, right. right. So, and a question mm -hmm. I've an had answered or been asked is how come there's so much time between when the wait list opened and when invoices are going out? And that is solely because we never in a million years thought it close so fast. So, um, and now we've set these dates. So we don't want to move it up. We're going to sit. It's it's September, it. October 2021, people. Right. And um, even though it was so fun to see so much yep. enthusiasm and everybody, you know, with their alarms set and their calendars marked and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, if we didn't learn anything from 2020, mm -hmm. we learned that a lot can happen in the course of eight months. Correct. Um, so... Uh, that's why I say don't lose hope. Correct. Yes. So. So. Um, so there's that. So yeah. um, I. And the other thing is that I've gotten a lot of questions about that confirmation screen. Right. So when some you. Some people saw one. Some people did it. Or thought they didn't or weren't or, sure if they did or, or whatever. scared because they did it. So at the, you've. It was a Google form that you fill out and then you yeah. hit submit at the end. And then there is a thank you message that's supposed to come up when you're, when, after you hit submit, right? Yeah. So apparently we did a little bit of research on mm -hmm. it. And apparently if you have an ad block, ad pop-up blocker right. installed on your laptop, desktop, computer, phone, whatever. Yeah. If you have that enabled Sometimes the confirmation screen doesn't pop up because it thinks it's That's a pop-up ad. That's the only thing we could find to right. explain right. why people said, oh, I didn't get that screen. Yes. yes. And um, just to allay everybody's anxiety and yeah. fears, mm -hmm. uh, it it probably was a, a web setting. Yeah. A browser setting. A browser setting. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's better. Don't said. fret. Don't, don't fret. fret. Right. So, um, so yeah. So I'm excited to get yeah. the ball rolling with 2022. Oh my goodness. Um, it feels weird because I've had the last two months just completely off of StitchCon stuff. So and now we're back. Um, to get back on the on the bicycle, as they say. Yeah. Um, it's like I told Pam. It's like there's this wedge in my brain that's like just StitchCon stuff, right? And so after StitchCon 2021, I just was like. Mm -hmm lights off yeah and i'm like and i have to do that for my own sanity, sanity yeah. frankly yeah um and so because it's a full-time job um yeah and then september well technically the end of august when i started getting all the paperwork and stuff ready and it's like 
light switch back on. Yep. And so for the next 10 months. Kind of like 10 months out of the year. Right. Exactly. Which is, I mean. Which is fine. Well, you know, we're, right. we're not complaining. Holy no, no, no. cow. No. Holy cow. So, um, so yeah. So yeah. again, thank you all so much for your enthusiasm. And it was awesome because it was a mixture of like new people that we recognize and that we're like, Oh, that'd be so great to have them at Citron <laughs> and then a ton of returning people. So, yep. um, leveling the playing field, I think was, was a great choice. So great, I'm great. excited to see Way to do it. how each weekend shakes out. Yes. So it'll be really fun. And Super. Great. All right. Um, let's do our hashtag. Well, before we do that, we want to, um, we haven't really said anything about the week, um, oh. for us personally. Um, but, um, I think we announced last week or, mentioned last week uh -huh. that we were planning to go up to craft gallery to oh, yeah. uh, drop off and pick up some framing right. so that did happen yeah and um i'll tell you a little funny story <laughs> that that um i have no idea what she's gonna say yeah yeah you do you do nope. so um about a week ago maybe oh. maybe a week or 10 days ago where we have my cardinal points hanging on the wall um, is a place that I walk by a million times a day. Okay, yes. just to give you an idea. Right. And for whatever reason, at a particular point in my walking past where this is hung, my left eye caught a place in the design that was missing stitches mm -hmm. and and none of you youth caught it and nobody caught it obviously i didn't know i took it up to paula to frame mm -hmm. paula framed it we brought it home we hung it in the spot we love it in the spot it hangs mm -hmm. and i just w looked at it i went how in the holy you know what did that happen so I sort of the silly in me um, got my phone out mm -hmm. and I took a short, like video. three or four second yep. video showing the omission. Mm -hmm. The and missing I, stitches. Steph was at work that day. She was one of her work days. So I sent it to Steph and she said it took her about... I had to watch it like 60 times. She had to watch it about six times to figure out what the heck I was sending her. I was like, where is I'm missing what? And so when she got home from work, we were laughing about it. And mm -hmm. I said, it's no, really no big deal. Mm -hmm. We'll just take it up the next time we go up to craft gallery. Mm -hmm. And Paula can undo it. And I'll take my thread and my needle and, you know, and, exactly and put the did. stitches in. So we went up to craft gallery on thursday thursday this week and um we didn't necessarily let her know we were coming um there really wasn't any reason to um she had let us know everything was uh, finished that mm -hmm. we'd left there and yeah. we picked out some things to take right and so we walk in with this framed cardinals <laughs> cardinal points and I propped it up, you know, stood it up on the table in the back. And I said, well, we're back to the frame hospital or something like that. Something silly. And Paula goes, oh, no, what did I do? And I said, honey, you didn't do a thing. Anything. And I said, this was all me. <laughs> and um, so anyway, we all had a good laugh over it. Um, Nikki was there and um, she unpinned it and let me put my stitches in it was a little leaf that i'd missed <laughs> and then repinned it and paula put the backing on it and put put it back yeah. in the frame this is good as and new. all was all is well it's back in its spot yes but Fully actually uh, this isn't the first time i've done something like this folks oh so um it was kind of like oi you know um it but can not happen. the end of the world. It can happen, yeah. you know. And um, sometimes you get something back from the framer and you study it and you study it and you study it because study you're so it. thrilled to have it framed. I just put on the wall and smile and walk away. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, stay tuned yeah. for uh, what we um, 
We posted on Instagram what we left, the moldings we picked out, mm -hmm. and um, stay excited. tuned for a little bit later uh, for what we have to show you that we picked up at yes. the frame. Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll do the hashtag. Okay. So our hashtag is hashtag Stitch Harmony. <coughs> and what that is, it is our attempt at connecting stitchers together who live geographically close to each other. That can get together in person. Yes, absolutely. So, um, if you are someone who you feel like you're the only stitcher within a hundred mile radius. Right. And you would love a stitchy friend that you can meet up with, go stitch with, grab a coffee with, whatever, talk stitching with. Yeah. Um, we would love to help facilitate meeting those people. Right. Um, and putting those people together. Yeah. So every week we um, go to the previous week's video and we find one of the comments that uses the hashtag Stitch Harmony and then we pick a person and we share that person and where they live with all of you in hopes that another one of you lives close by. Right. So so you can get together. Yes. Yeah, so who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pam? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely woman named Tanya Bauer. Hi, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. And she wrote, Stitch Harmony, I just found you guys and I absolutely love you both. Also, I am in Warren, Ohio. Oh, awesome. Definitely subscribe for sure. <sighs> so... Awesome. Funny story about Warren. <laughs> this is been story there. time with Pam. <laughs> it is. Uh, been there. Um, my folks, uh, my mother and father, had very close friends who lived in Warren uh, for years and years and years. And uh, so we visited them as all of uh, my siblings and I, my siblings and me. Um, what is it, Pam? My siblings and my, me or my siblings and I? My siblings and I were uh -huh. the same age as my folks' friends. So we more or less grew up together. So, very familiar with Warren, Northeast Ohio. Don't worry, I'm looking it up right now. And I think that Tanya will be able to find uh, some well, stitch buddies up there. Okay, so now I need to know. What? Hold on. Just hold on. How far is the crafty you oh probably not too far it's an hour away yeah she's close to the crafty you okay okay yeah so warren ohio is northwest of youngstown mm -hmm. and southeast of cleveland um yeah and northwest of pittsburgh there you go yeah way up by the lake. By the lake. Yep. Exactly. So, um, here is how this works. Yeah. If your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Warren, Ohio, and you have room in your stitchy group for Miss Tanya, and or you are a solo stitcher and would love a stitching friend, and Tanya sounds like a good fit for you, then please comment below and say, hi, Tanya, my name is, insert name here, I live in and around nearby within driving distance of Warren, Ohio, and I would love to stitch with you. And then it is up to you, Miss Tanya, to read through the comments and um, find the people who have said hello to you and start making uh, connections and have conversations. And maybe you can, you know, meet up, find a new friend. Right. Warren Stitchers Unite. If we can match people in eastern Switzerland, we, we can certainly it match people near Warren, Ohio. Let's hope. One would think. All right. Okay, so that means it's time for... Oh, boy. Getting loud. Pam's pin comment. Pam's pen comment is the one comment of all the comments from last week's video. That sufficiently does what, Pam? It tickled my fancy. Congratulations. And I thought this was real cute. And this comes to us from... Their YouTube name is... Their YouTube name is Radiant59. Radiante. Maybe Radiante. Radiante. 59. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and this is what they wrote. 
Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for making me laugh for a solid hour plus every Sunday night. You're welcome. You're welcome. I sit down in front of my computer with my cross stitch with the idea of watching you all while stitching. <laughs> By the time your video ends, I've put a grand total of maybe 10 stitches in. That's hysterical. Actually got 20 in one night. Congratulations. It's really hard to stitch <laughs> while you're laughing and have tears rolling down your face. My wife and our two cats just stare at me. <laughs> LOL. I don't blame them. Please keep the videos coming. So You got it. Radium Tay. Radium Tay. 59. Thank you for your wonderful comment. It has been pinned officially to the top of all the comments that she we got one job. after last week's video. Yes. Precisely. All right. So, um, we want to let you know that um, Stephanie does have stickers to show and we will do that later on in the video yes so that if and there are stephanie are can't speak for herself so oh i'm sorry <laughs> i would like to let you know that pam is now my spokeswoman so <laughs> for shame isn't that what you usually do for shame yes for shame, for shame. For shame. i'm sorry it's okay don't worry i'll talk enough at the end okay <laughs> so okay quite a few so let's talk share. about stitching shall we we shall Alrighty. I have one whip and one whip only. <laughs> <laughs> and um I just it's been a very busy week, people. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so this is a good project to just not really have to think a whole lot, really, honestly. So this is disclaimer mm -hmm. out of print. Sorry. Sorry. But it's pretty. So, uh, this is Winter Sampler from Birds of a Feather. And I started this last October, so I've, it's almost been in the works for a year now. Um, and I am stitching it using all the called for colors, except for the red. I changed to something that was more red, not the called for. Um, I think it was... Ruby slippers from Classic Color Works. You changed oh. it to Ruby slippers. To Ruby slippers, yeah. Okay. Because the heart was supposed to be like an orange. And I was like, don't like that. Um, and yeah. And it is on 36 count meadow lark fabric from Birds of a Feather. This fabric is also unavailable now because Birds of a Feather no longer exists. So um, we came across a yard of 36 count Birds of a Feather a couple of years ago and grabbed it. Yep. And this was long before I was even stitching on higher counts. Right. And now I love it. Holy so. moly. Yeah. So. But the, but this is not mo monochromatic. This has two different colors. It actually has four different colors. Really? So there's the. Wow. And also the white that I'm using for the snowflakes. I'm using either grits or whitewash. I'm not using light khaki like it says. Oh, that's true. Because it says to get light khaki but use the lighter part of the floss. Well. Yeah. Instead of getting like khaki and just cutting the floss just apart, just get a lighter, just get a lighter color. Yeah, so that's what I did. Okay, so I think it, I think it's grits, but and the and what looks like all black is, is actually, actually two colors, two colors, onyx and charcoal. Yes. Wow. What does it say in parentheses for? Oh yeah. Um. So I need more than one fiber of skein, and so looking at this, I mean, unless you like really, really look at it. You can see the difference, but, like, look at the V and look at the O, right? So you can sort of see the difference. Um, but this chart is from... Why don't you have a year on here, you little weasel? Um, it's not... Know. It's... Let me uh, see. Okay. You show and I'll look. And, okay, so this is what I have. I love it so much. Look at that deer. Look at that reindeer. Yeah, it looks really great. If I do say so myself. Is your is your birds of a feather fabric thirty six or forty? Thirty six. Thirty six. Okay. Yes. So, um, like if you look at if you look at these letters over here, look at the U and look at the T. Those are two different colors. It's so minor, you can hardly tell. Um, but I am obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Yeah, it's going to be 
very, very elegant looking, I think. What yes. And I'm going around and doing all of the letters. Like last week, I feel like I didn't even have like the G done. You've made a lot of progress. I mean, no question. Thank you. No question. Um, yeah. So, and this fabric is so fun to stitch on. It's a really great fabric. So, cool. um, yeah. So I'm going to go around and do the rest of the letters that are underneath the reindeer. And there's still a couple. Yeah, I have the V and the W left to do. Under, move. Not the W. Do you, yes. You still have the W? Where? Oh, that little W. Move, 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 move the pattern. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I have the V and the W to do here. And then the Y and the X to do here. Gotcha. And then I obviously have the rest of the deer itself and um, the ground that the deer is yeah. mounted on. I don't think that ground is going to take you that long, actually. No. I'm a little nervous about it for some stupid reason. Is it reason. two colors? No. It's all it's one all color. It's all one. It's all whatever. Onyx. Onyx, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Should be two. I, I don't do think Do I have the that. tail done yet? <laughs> Look at me. Do I have the tail done yet? Yep, yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I really, mm -hmm. really, really like it. I The the trick, though, and which is going to be tricky as I move Tricks forward. Tricks are usually tricky. Just by their very nature. By definition. By definition. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, is that I really can't carry. Like, yeah. the, like carrying yeah. is just yeah. not going to happen. Right. Um, so that takes even, some time. Even with one thread, it's yeah. it's going to show, and I hate that. Right. So I'm very meticulous about that. People, like, I'm one of those stitchers who starts and stops on A letters. Lot. Yes. A lot. A lot. Because no, I don't, as you I, should. Right. I don't think. Right. I don't like when my threads show from the front. No, they shouldn't. I don't think. They should. There there's go. no should and shouldn'ts in cross stitch pan. Well, it's all personal preference because it's art. Well, I suppose. So, that's anyway. what I've been working on. So, what about you, Pam? What have you been doing? Okay. So, the last time we um, did a video, it uh -huh. was the last Sunday of August. It sure was. And so I knew what the um, WIPCO projects were going to be for me, uh -huh. but you don't start those until the first of the month. I just right. don't pull them out to work on right. until the first of the month. So that left me with a couple of days of, okay, what would be a good thing to kind of put some time into? <clears throat> so um, I looked at the WIPCO projects on my WIPCO board that have been called, mm -hmm. but still needed some work done on them. And right, they weren't finished yet. So what I pulled out was a Rovera's chart called, well, she doesn't actually title hers. Well, yes, she did. Yeah, that's what Ocean this of Liberty. Titled. Yeah. So this is Ocean of Liberty by Rovera's. Yes. And you can see why I was attracted to that design. Whale. The word ocean and a whale. And a boat. And a boat. That kind of looks like And a flower. word liberty. Right. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah. It's kind of like the chart was just made for so you, So I actually got the Rovera's fabric. Yeah, the called for fabric. See the coloration there? Okay. And. Did the fabric have a name? Sand. Sand is what Rovera's called it. Okay. And so this is where I got wow. to. I still have a lot to do, but. Is it 28 or 32? 32, I think. I think so too. Let me see. Do I have anything written down? Doesn't look like it. Um, no, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's 32. Okay. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So, and it's full, been folded. Well, yes, you do. It's right here. Oh, sorry. 32 count. Yeah. And it's called sand. Didn't I? Didn't you did. I you did get that correct. Okay. You didn't put it down. I made these for you. Okay, fine. Um. <laughs> Daughter of the year. Thank you. <laughs> so this is where I got to. Okay. So what I added was the underside of the whale. The underbelly. The underbelly mm -hmm. of the whale. The belly of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And, that his, and his side fin if you will. And this is his side fin. Yeah, side fin. And as opposed to his tail fin. Yeah. 
And um, if you hadn't noticed this before, I always think this is kind of cool in this design. In the bottom curve of the sea of ocean, there seems to be a little uh, round shape. That is actually the eye of the whale. Okay. Eye of the whale. Yeah. So, so I worked on that for Monday and Tuesday, mm -hmm. and it was super fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I love those it. letters. I love, I love the font of this. Yeah, the it's great. And um, I like the white shadowing of the letters. Yeah, and it looks great on this fabric. It, it pops really does. on this fabric. There's only yeah. one, two, three. I think there's only four colors. There are in fact four colors. Yes. Okay. So and sh you. Have you used multiple skeins of either color yet? I don't think so, but oh. I don't know right off the top of my head. Okay, that's I fine. Would, I would guess I might have on the dark blue. And you probably will on the light blue at some point, too. So, I don't. That's okay, Pam. Here, I'll put I it away for you. I don't know. That's fine. No worries. So, then we flip the calendars to September, and okay. I have two new whips to work on. New and, whips, new whips, new whips. Um, one of them... Um, both of them are like to finish the goal. The goal is to finish it. I'm not going to meet my goal on either one of those. Forget <laughs> it. Stop saying you're not going to do it, it, Pam. Just forget it. Because. I mean, you probably won't on this one though. For real. No, for real. So, I won't. <laughs> so um, it's the travel big back in time to 2020. All the way back. And something good that happened in 2020 mm. was, um, Brenda Gervais. Um, Coming to America was released, right? We all remember that. Yep. And um, we all got super excited, didn't we? And we all rushed out and got our boxes. Yeah, if you were sitting back then, yeah. And um, so, Coming to America. And that is what I am, actually, no, I'll meet my goal on this because my goal for this 10 was days, right? just to work on it for yeah, 10 yeah. days. That's the best goal for me that's what i thought okay um and so um this is where i am and i'll tell you what i added um hmm. I'm, I'm working from the top I, I we had somebody i think have you put you posted pictures of this on instagram when i first started working on right it, yeah, Wednesday, yeah yeah and we had somebody that called the shop and asked if they could get coming to america and mm. it is not available at a, at any local needlework shops i just checked her website and it's currently out of stock on her website so i don't know oh wow it, it was always slated as a limited release yeah so she probably won't unless you can find a shop that still has them that's your best bet is just call around um, yeah. and, you know, just make phone calls. That's yeah. the best way to find it. It's not orderable. It's not attainable from for local New York shops. So, like, keepsakes, when we Does were doing... Does 1, 2, 3 have any? Or? No. Oh, no, no. Uh-uh. Or, okay. No, uh-uh. Um, shops can't get it from Hoffman anymore? We never could get it from Hoffman because it came as a kit. Oh, that's right. That's you know, right. so um, with the exception of... Like, it didn't have the fabric or the floss, but it right. came in, like, this limited edition box. Right. Had all these extra goodies and stuff That's inside right. that Brenda That's had right. curated. And so, it's not like, I mean, I guess you could, she could just print the chart only, but she's choosing not to. Mm -hmm. So, it's not something that was ever sold yeah. to distributors or anything like that. It was so only... So, it's a call around to shop situation? It is. It is. Yes, ma'am. Or ma possibly Amazon or eBay? I don't Probably know. Probably not Amazon, but eBay, yeah, maybe. Know. I don't know. I yeah. don't know what to tell you, people. Right. Okay. So sorry. So, this is where I am. Yes. As of this afternoon, as of just about a half an hour ago. This looks so good down here, Pam. <clears throat> so, where I was when I pulled it out on Wednesday was I had one line of brown. Seriously? No, no railing. I had John Howland in there. He's the guy who jumped ship. Right. Um, and one line up here. That's where I was when I picked you it up on Wednesday. So much stuff. So I got the whole boat like I literally hate you. done, and then I got the water all done, and then I brought my my border down to correspond, uh -huh. and then I put in Cape Cod, <laughs> and I've got almost both. all this full coverage almost done. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag retired. Mm. Hashtag audiobooks. Right. Um, 
But one thing that I was kind of, I wasn't trying to catch Brenda up on anything, but it made me think when the pilgrims landed in 1620 mm -hmm. at Plymouth, was it called Cape Cod? And I got thinking about that oh. because probably not. Actually, yes, it was known as Cape Cod huh. from 1602 onward. Look at that! So Brenda did her homework. Yes, she did. Should never have questioned her. So you questioned her? No, I didn't. But it made me think. When did it? When did that piece of land get named officially? Get, get known as start being known as Cape Cod. So. That's where I am. Looks great. So I put in... And you're stitching this on the 32 count vintage country mocha? Yes, ma'am. And with all the called for colors? Yes, ma'am. Yes. We went whole hog on this. Right. Oh, yeah, we yeah. We went deep in. We did right down the rabbit hole. <laughs> right, down, right down the rabbit hole. Give me all the things. <clears throat> um, I don't have any proven lineage no. to um, Mayflower. But we have a I, couple of really good hunches. We have a couple of hunches. Yeah. Um possibly richard warren but i can't prove it okay. so I'm not, i believe you pam i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about it okay <laughs> that's fine it's not important to me okay um but being from new england yeah um, that's perfect it was something that i definitely wanted to stitch mm -hmm. and i have about this much of the border done on mine yeah that's it yeah so eventually, that's what happens when you got a lot of whips okay yeah so there's quite a bit. Um, once you're going to breeze through those names. So I'm going to put. Real. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I put in five uh -huh. of the ten days. Yeah. Um, Are you taking that with us? I don't know. Okay. Um, you might do what you've done before, which is just like break up the yeah. ten days. <coughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what was I going to? You made me lose my train of thought. Oh, now. my bad. Um. Oh, Wednesday, Thursday. But, um, we're not leaving until Thursday. Correct. So um, I for sure will get the other fish done. I'll have the other fish done tonight. Oh, yeah. And then it's kind of fun, that section with all the I know, animals I love the little pigs. and the two pilgrim women. Mm -hmm. And once you get, and there's a lot of space between all those little motifs. Yeah. And then you get down to all the names. Yeah. Now that's pretty fast stitching yeah. to me it is. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bringing the border down. Yeah. And then, um, right. you know, and then the verse. Is it a verse? It is. It's a. Or we are living in the tomorrow for which they rock. And it says 2020. Yeah. And I will put 2020, 2020. in, of course, because of the 400th anniversary. Absolutely. And then, then there's more fun stuff down at the bottom. Those of you who, you know, stitched this all up in 2020, I'm not telling you a thing you don't know. True. But, um,. It is a very fun design to stitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I hadn't looked at it in a really long time. I'll have to go back and put the masts in. Um, right, the back stitch. On the ship. Right. And all that jazz. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's very fun. Yeah. And kudos right. to Brenda for coming up with something to commemorate the 400th anniversary. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's absolutely beauteous. So... Those were our whips of the week. Yo yeah, yo. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Okay, so um we are thrilled to share with you the framed pieces that we picked up on Wednesday at Craft Gallery. Yep. And um do want to especially thank everyone who has taken advantage of um, the buy me a coffee option that we have on our channel. Yes. The link is in the description box below. Uh, because all of those people mm -hmm. and um, anybody who might be thinking of, of uh, doing that, using that um, mm -hmm. link, uh, helped us pick these up. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, who wants to go first? I thought I could show one. And I you could show think one. that would be fantastic. Okay. So, I have three, and Pam has two. Right. Um, so, um, first one I'm going to show is, so, all of the strings by Lizzie Kate. 
um, I've been in this habit of every time we go up to craft gallery to drop another string off and pick up the one that she has. So the final one that I have completed is up at craft gallery right now, to be frank. There are two that I have not actually stitched yet that I am starting in October. Oh, wonderful. I so, forgot about that. Yeah. I have not stitched the Christmas one or the summer one. Great. Um, there also is a dog one. Does not, does not apply. No reason. So, um, I've, the first one I ever did was the kitty one. Yeah. Um, and that hangs in my room. So, um, I've been trying to do them like seasonally. So that way, like the Halloween one was the last one I got. Yeah. This one is the Thanksgiving one, which I finished in 2019, I believe. Um, and all of my Lizzie Kate strings are stitched on 25 count ivory cream Lugana two over two. I know that a lot of times people say that they stitched on 25 count over one and no, nope, this is over two. Um, and also we should say that we get all of our pieces framed using um, ultra view UV 70 anti-reflective glass. Yes, that's what Paula. It's by True View. Recommends, and yep. she even says she's converted all of her museum glass customers over to this. Yeah, and it is so fantastic that when you go in to pick up your framing, and if your piece is on the back wall, yeah, you seriously cannot tell there is glass on it. Nope. I have been known to go up to it like, <laughs> like someone looking to see if there's glass in a window pane. Right, yeah, it's like that. It's just that good. It's just that good. Yeah. No glare. Right, at all. Um, so, anyway, so this is Thankful String by Lizzie Kate. I love it. And this is using all the called for colors. So I could have gone with like an orange frame, but I felt like that may have made it look too Halloween-y. Yeah. <clears throat> I wanted this to look more autumnal, more Thanksgiving-esque. Mm -hmm. So I think it looks great. And I really, really like it. Love it. There's kind of a wood grain in that. Yeah. In that frame, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There yeah. sure is. And it really matches this color, which I think is like putty from Weeks, mm -hmm. something like that. So... Mm -hmm. Thankful String by Lizzie Kate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want me to go next? Uh, yeah. Do another one. No, no, you go. Do another one. You go, Pam. Okay. Um, you listen to me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is one of those uh, that I'm especially pleased with. Um, Stephanie had kitted this up. It's a mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, for Christmas... Two Christmases ago? 2018. Uh, Which would have been two Christmases ago. No. No, three. Three. Three Christmases ago. Really? Then was it 2019? Maybe it was 2019. Yeah, I think it was only two Christmases ago. Yeah, okay. And we'll go with that. Uh, it's Lady Justice, and uh, I am thrilled with this. This was a very fun stitch. Yeah. Um, Especially once I got to the beading. Mm. The beading is outstanding. Her yes. choice of beads of what to use where is outstanding. Yes. Um, and uh, when I took it up to Paula, picking out a frame for it was very quick. It was like the minute she laid down a sample of the molding. I feel like it was like harder than you're remembering. No, I don't think so. Because we were trying out like bright golds and we were like, no, that's too ornate. I don't know. Either way, we found one that worked. Anyway, we're thrilled with this. Yes. I'm thrilled with this. Which is most important. So this is Lady Justice for Mirabilia. Mm -hmm. And there she is. She looks great, Pam. Yeah. Uh, if so anybody good. is watching that has not watched... Any time where I've talked about what I did uh, mm -hmm. for my career, I was uh, a law librarian for the federal courts. Yep. And so the idea of this having a legal 
theme. Vibe. Vibe. Mm-hmm. Whatever. V Bay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll um bring it up close. Yeah. So is this part of the frame is that a fillet or was that I don't remember. I feel like this rope kind of situation was a fillet it that she added been. to the it frame. It might have frame. been. The um, chunkier beads are in the scales uh, that she's holding in her hand. Mm-hmm. They're really quite large. I think they're really navy blue, a very midnight blue. Yeah, I was going to say they're very dark blue, yep. And then who would have put these colors together but Not me. Nora and have them. And then, of course, you have the gold rings. beading in the rings of her gown. And looks great. Yeah, it just looks. I great. do my skin two over two. Mm-hmm. Um, Traditional. That's lovely. my personal preference. Yep. Yeah. And so that is Lady Justice, and I am thrilled with it. It looks so I good. I think this really coordinates with all the beading. Mm-hmm. It does for and sure. And we always get in great discussions with Paula up there about. Choosing moldings that don't distract from the stitching. Right. And so that you are trying to get past the frame to see what stitching is actually there. Right. Um, I had something on a piece when we were out there on Thursday, and she was like, no, I don't like it. And I was like, but I like it. She's like, I just, all I see is the frame. Mm-hmm. She's like, I don't yeah. see your stitching. and you, you should see your stitching. I mean, she's like, obviously, I see your stitching, Stephanie, yeah. but you want the eye to... We want the eye to, to be pulled right toward the stitching. To the stitching first, mm-hmm. not to the frame. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, she does, obviously, a phenomenal job doing that. So Right. The way we placed our, our where our lights are placed in this room mm-hmm. to film, you might have seen a bit of a reflection. Right. But there's no glare from the glass itself. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. You can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. Yeah. And she did put spacers in there to accommodate the... The chunkier beads. The chunkier beads beads are in this area here. Yep. Yep. It's awesome. Yep. It's awesome. Just lovely. Just lovely. Yep. Yep. All right. So my next the my next piece is um this one. I don't remember when I stitched. <laughs> I want to say 2019. Can you tell by looking at your stitches? I mean, I think it was in 2019. I think so. Um, based on the count of fabric it is mm-hmm. and the chart itself. Anyway, and um, this is stitched on 28 count mushroom Lugana using two threads over two. Um, and... This is called, I think it's called My Daily Bread, I think, by the Little House Networks. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you can tell. There's like, there, there it is. Mm-hmm. See, there's like a redwood vibe to the frame. Right. And it the, picks up that thread on that spool right there which is the same as the border color mm-hmm. um which i love right yeah i love it so much um yeah it's great looks beautiful yeah yep yeah, mm-hmm. it's great i um prefer um for whatever reason um the skinnier frames um mm-hmm. <clears throat> the big I mean, I haven't had a piece that warrants a big, wide frame to me. I don't want anything that's like twice the size of this on a piece this size. That yeah. just feels weird and unbalanced to me. So, I like this kind of... I mean, when you look at that, it's the same vibe. When you look at mm-hmm. my New York, it's just like that. You know what I mean? So, that's just mm-hmm. my preference of frame. It's nothing fancy, but... You look at it and all you see is the stitching, right? Yeah. But if you look close, you can see the, the redness of the frame, which mm-hmm. I really, really love. Mm-hmm. So, My Daily Bread, I think that's what it's called. I think so, too. Um, from Little House Works. Mm-hmm. And then, my third piece I took up, this is, uh, this I stitched in 2019 because the yes. date's on it. Yes. Um, 
And this, I think, was my last finish of 2019. Um, and this I actually had as a kit that someone sent me, I think. Um, and this is my second Prairie Schooler framed piece. Mm -hmm. Um, and it is a limited edition Santa that used to be, so it's called limited edition because it used to be sold as a kit. Mm -hmm. Now it's sold as chart only, so it's still readily available if you were looking for it. Um, but this is... Um, Prairie Schooler Santa, one of the limited edition ones. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, and I changed when I stitched this. This is on 28, yeah, 28 count raw um, linen because that's what was in the kit. And what's interesting about this is that this is one of these limited edition Santa kits were one of the only times that Prairie Schooler called for overdides. So, like, the tree is, I, I mean, I would hope to think you can tell that that's overdyed. And the red in his coat is overdyed. Um, this black brown color is 3371 DMC. Um, but the green and red are overdyed. And this cute little snowman. Um, originally was charted in the same green as the tree. And I was like, that is weird. <laughs> so I decided to change it to white. It just made more sense to me. Um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so precious. And we have so much Christmas stuff that I like this having the smaller things framed to fit in those smaller spaces that we have on the wall. So, and okay. this is the frame that I chose. I love it. It's just freaking perfect. Yep. So, it is. so cute. Yep. And you can tell I stitched it in 2019. So, mm -hmm. um, and my stitches, I mean, <laughs> look at his beard though. Look at his beard. Just pause the video and look at his beard. <laughs> Every stitch is the same. Yep. Hashtag goals. Right. Next level. Yep. Like, damn, this is good. <laughs> That's why I like put put some put New York over there in the corner, and just let's put this front and center. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was there when you were stitching it. Oh, you were. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, and uh, we're gonna finish up with um, we're gonna insert yes a video and a picture. Of uh, the uh, grandmama of them all. Right. Um, if you've watched us for any length of time, you know that um, I stitched the I'll Be Home series all on one very big piece of fabric uh, over the course of uh, 2020. 2020 into 2021. Well, you started it on your birthday in 20. Yes, you started yes. it on your birthday in 2020. And then you finished it on my birthday in 2021, Correct. which was in June, yes, right? Yes, June yes, to yes. June. Yes, yes, yes. And we have a Facebook group mm -hmm. um, that somehow is getting a lot of exposure lately. I'm not ex exactly sure how the mm -hmm. Facebook algorithm is doing that, Whatever. but um, you can uh, request to join the Facebook group. Yeah. The um, bundle of patterns, they're sold individually. The bundle of patterns. You can't get all the houses together in one? I'm trying to get there, Steph. Hold on. <coughs> it's a bundle of patterns that is still available <coughs> for sale from, geez, I'm beat. from Twin Peak Primitives. Yes. So, um, Stephanie, uh, it's on the wall. It is. It's not behind us, but it is on the wall. It's freaking. And it's in the perfect, place. perfect place. Yeah, we love it. Paula did a great job, mm -hmm. and so we're going to insert a picture. What's for, what's first, uh, the still I, I, or the video? I well, that depends. What do you want to do? Do you want let's to, put it's your the, piece, Pammy? Tell me. Let's put the still picture in. Okay. And then she's got a short video. Yes. That close kind of up. closes close up on all the different houses. Yes. So here's I'll be home, and it's home from the framer. Yes. Here you go. Here.
like I said, thanks to everybody who's helped us uh, get that under the bed box empty. Liberated. Liberated and um, to frame some of our uh, most precious stitching mm -hmm. to share with you. Yes. So. I um, hope you enjoy. That is... We don't have a sound effect for Back from the Framer. No, we don't have... <laughs> A round of applause. So super, a round of super applause sorry for about that. Super sorry about that. Yeah. But you know what we do have a sound effect for? Yeah, we do. We have a sound effect for our next segment. Yeah. Which is... Promotions! I did the shoulders and everything. I'm too. so happy. I can't wait I to know. watch you do that. Uh, <clears> okay, <throat> congratulations. Welcome to the promotional portion of the program. Right. The PPP, as I like to call it. <laughs> I've never called it that before. No. Um, but, um, so, first and foremost, we have the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Yeah, say that fast five times. Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Oh, she did it. Not five times. So. No, I'm not good. You don't want to hear that. So they've come up with a couple of real cuties yes. for uh, the promotion. So Seasonal stitching is about to commence. So both of these. There's two patterns of the week this week. Two patterns of the week. And um, what are they called, Pam? They are called Ostriches Halloween. Ostriches. Ostriches like the animal. And Ostriches Christmas. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? So both of these are going to be 20% off from... Today, which is the 5th yeah. of September, yep. for a week, they're going to be 20% off. Yeah, they're two separate charts. Two separate charts. Yes. So, how it works. Well, first, let's, let's show them a picture. Let's show them a picture of both, both of the ostriches, ostriches Halloween, Halloween and, and ostriches, ostriches Christmas. Christmas. I've right. never said ostrich so much in my life. <laughs> Here. Here. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, now that you've seen the ostriches celebrating their holidays. <laughs> right. Um, you want to stitch them, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. So, uh, here's how this works. Yeah. So, if you love ostriches Halloween and ostriches Christmas as much as we do. Right. You can get your copy of either of those charts at a 20% discount in price from... Uh, you can get a PDF download of the copy from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or their Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Or if you'd rather have a hard copy of either of the charts, then you can only get the discounted priced charts from the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needle workshop located in the great state of Maine. And um, that is also linked below as well. Right. At any of those places, you do not, do not need... A discount code of any kind. No. The charts are already discounted for you. So you're good to go. Just add to cart and check out. Right. So. Okay. And the next thing that we uh, have to announce is uh, you've been listening to us talk about the cash prize from the twins. Yes. Um, How and much is the cash prize, Pam? One thousand dollars. And um, so we uh, were given the list of everybody that um, was entered for the giveaway. Yeah. People who purchased the chart, mm -hmm. uh, Springfield 1817 sampler. Over the course of 2021 and 2020 and right. all of those people. Yeah. yeah. And it totaled out um, uh, to 565 names. 565. Yep. Which and is insane. <clears throat> so uh, Stephanie pulled the name. Sure and did. we're going to insert that video here. Here. Hello, friends. Um, happy Sunday. Um, I am here to, after many a moon, pick the Dutch Mania 2021 winner of the $1,000 grand prize. So, um, I have a list of names here. There are 565 of you amazing people. Um... And so we're going to use the, uh, not YouTube, the Google random number generator. And we're going to pick a winner. So let's go. Okay. As you can see, we've got a ton of names here in the last one. 
is 565. So let's pick a winner. Okay, got 565. 170. 170, 170, where? 170. Eva V. Weenan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Eva Weenan. Congratulations, Eva. Um, if you would be so kind as to send an email to the twins' email address, which is listed in the description box below, um, they will work out with you how to get your payment. Congratulations. So, congratulations are in order to Eva. Yes, congratulations, Eva. Eva. So, here's what you did. Here's what you do. Uh, here's, not, here's what you did. Here's what you do. Um, so, the twins have and us have been talking about, like, how we want to handle all this. So, since it is a gift from them, yes. um, then you need to reach out to them via email right right so we are going to put the twins email address it's in, in the description box below right um something tells me that i assume that they're gonna ask some sort of qualifying question like I identity or something i would assume so yeah um i mean i anyone could just email the twins and say i'm eva weenan yeah um but um so be prepared for that yeah um which I think makes sense, honestly. Right, um, right. But I was able to find her on socials, and um, it looks like she lives in the Netherlands, if it's the same person, which I think is pretty right, cool. Right, right. So um, that's amazing. Right. And so, of course, if something doesn't pan out, um, and if the twins don't hear from her, uh, and they need us to draw another winner, we will, of course, do that. Um, but we want to say... First and foremost, congratulations, congratulations to absolutely. Eva um, and to thank you all so very much for sticking with Being us patient with this drawing through all of this whole Dutch mania situation. And so um, moving forward, um, we do want to, and I know, and I'm pretty sure the twins want us to return to Europe at some point. Um, but we don't know when. But we don't know when that's going to be. No. And so, this as soon as, the, right, as soon as we know, we'll let you know, of course, what the plans are. But right. um, for now, we're back to just Patterns of the Week, which is great for us. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. Um, so. And um, I know that we'll be in communication with the twins. Yeah. And uh, if they don't hear from Eva, Eva after a certain amount of time, I think they'll be able to contact her through through the social media yeah, for platforms, sure. and they'll make connections and make arrangements yeah. for payment. So, yay! Yay! That's fantastic. All right. Okay. So that means it's time for mail call. Okay. Okay. So, um, this bit of mail call I got from a lovely woman named Candy. And Candy, um, she <laughs> wrote a really, really sweet note. She's got a really great sense and I, of humor. I love your sense of humor, Candy. Right. Um, it's very on par with ours. Yes. Um, and long story short, she reached out because she had some charts that she really she wasn't going to stitch. Yeah. And she wanted to send them to us. And she said, do whatever you want with them. You can pass them along or you can... <laughs> Excuse me. Keep them for yourself. So we have a couple here that we are going to put in the giveaway pile. Mm -hmm. And then this one is Pam's going to keep. So you want to show that? Which which one am I showing? This one, because you're going to keep that one, aren't you? We don't want to show the ones we're going to put in the giveaway right now? No. We want to okay. keep it a surprise for we're the giveaway. Keep it a surprise. Well, one of them that she sent was from Madame Le Fay, who is... Um, Outside the country, I think France. I think so too, yeah. And um, this is called La Nuit de Noël. Look at that. And I think it's really, really pretty. So at this point, I think I want to hang on to this. Mm -hmm. But I may change my mind and it may end up in a giveaway at some point. There you go. So, so, so I'll go. I just went ahead and showed it because... 
She might hold on. To I it. might hold on. The other two we'll keep in our little giveaway box right, for you. Right, right. Um, but Candy lives up in um, Superior, Wisconsin. Way up there. Which is right on the banks of Lake Superior. And um, shares a port with Duluth, Minnesota. So she, first and foremost, sent us some stickers. So... It's a vinyl sticker, Cute. and it says, keeping it fresh. And that's Lake Superior, just in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. And then um, these stickers, it says, Twin Ports, Superior, Wisconsin, Duluth, Minnesota. And then she also sent uh, this really sweet little um, ornament from a company called Iron Maid Art. And so that's their business card. Are they on Etsy? Or? I don't know, but I'll link them below, whatever, okay. whatever it is. Okay. <clears throat> but it says, Iron Maid Art is a women-owned and operated business that takes pride in its sustainability measures. Inspired by our love of travel and the outdoors, we are committed to implementing practices that minimize our environmental impact, which I think is cool. Wonderful. And so this is what she sent us. Oh, isn't that cool? So it's all of the Great Lakes. Yeah, I'm perfect. Love mm -hmm. that. Love that so much, actually. Mm -hmm. So I will link Iron Maid Art below, whatever, if it's Etsy or what have you, I'll link it, whatever on this. Right. Okay, and then we got, this is three or four, one, two, three, four. We got the next four from our sweet, sweet friend. Oh, Lori. Yes, Lori. Yeah. Um, And she sent, look at this cute card. It's got like library cards all over it. It's, I love it. Of yeah, course. so she cute. And Lori at Thread Milk. Right. She sent couple stickers as She's well. She's on floss tube as well. She sure is, yes. And so she is designing and releasing um, this series mm -hmm. called the Statehood Splendor Series. Mm -hmm. And so, let me see. So six, seven, eight, and nine have all been released. So I'll link her floss tube and her Etsy below. Right. So number six is New Jersey. Isn't that cute? Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Number seven is New Mexico. Love that. Mm -hmm. That color is Indian Summer. Yep. Mm. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, then number eight is Georgia. Look at that peach. Mm -hmm. Look at that peach. What is she... She puts the flag in, did you notice? Yeah. And then she says one of 13. Right. So the same went for New, New Jersey. Jersey. If they were one of the 13, 13 colonies, colonies. Yep. she puts that motif in yep. there. Yep, yep. Which, love of course, that. you know me. I love and that kind of thing. Do we know what WJM is? Hmm. In Georgia? Georgia? WJM. Ooh. All you Georgians. 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 WGM. <laughs> wow. I can't wait for all you people that live in Georgia to tell us what that is. Because yeah. it's not, I don't think it's Lori's initials because it's not Lori. It's not yeah. L. WGM, is that what it is? WJM. JM. WJM. JM. Hold on. And Georgia. Who's going to find the answer first? WJM. Do, do, do. I have literally have no idea. It stands for, no, let's see. The state motto, which is wisdom, justice, and moderation. There you go. And WJM. there's a little B on there. See the B? Yeah. That is the state, state insect. Uh, that's the state insect, the honeybee. There you go. Beautiful. Love that. Um, and then number nine is California. Yeah, cool. with the bear. With the bear. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. That's really cool. So um, I bet when we were looking at the New Mexico one, we weren't sure what that bird was. I bet it's the state bird, yeah. whatever the New Mexico state bird is, which... We should have done this ahead of time. I know, but they like it, so it's fine. Um, the state bird is the Roadrunner. Of course. The Roadrunner. Freaking freak. Um, yeah. Yep. And its nickname is the Land of Enchantment. Of course. 
and Albuquerque is the nation's hot air balloon capital. Each October, it hosts the world's largest. Oh, and then um, there's a little chili pepper mm -hmm. right there, and she says more chili peppers are born in New Mexico than all other states combined. There you go. Before achieving his fame at Tombstone, Doc Holliday was a dentist in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Las Vegas, New Mexico. Nate had a job up there in Las Vegas, New Mexico. He's my brother. Yeah. So, my brother and sister-in-law live in New Mexico, so I might stitch this for them. Oh, that would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes, that would be nice. And I'll nice. stitch the Ohio one, too, and maybe the Pennsylvania one. Yeah. So, thank you, Lori. We love that. Thank you, Lori. We love yeah, this Yeah, her YouTube is um, Lori Wilson, I think. Yes, I will, of course, link it. No, you're keeping the pattern. Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay. All right. My turn? Uh, well, no. that, that's all the mail call. Oh, yeah, that's it. That is all the mail call. That is all the mail call. That is all the mail call. <laughs> that is all the mail call. All right. So. Okay, now it's time for haul. What do we have for haul? My turn? Yeah, you go. Okay. I'm feeling a bit parched. <laughs> Give <laughs> me I've been gabbing a little bit. Why did I go ahead and get this? You know? We could do what, Pam? Get the fabric? Yeah. Just because you wanted to spend money, I think. <laughs> Because um, it was R and R, I guess. No, I was I was just contemplating the whole rare R and R fabric situation. No, it's not rare for the shops that can get it. Yeah, but um, Hollis didn't I get this from Hollis? You did. Yeah, Hollis Hands Create um, had some R and R. What's this color? Hold on. Vintage beeswax. Vintage beeswax. She has to tell me what I buy. Right. So, and why she buys it? Uh, I think <laughs> that's a fat eighth, right? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so I got some. Vintage beeswax from Hollis Hands Create. And I also got a what? You also got this fabric from the Primitive Hair. So No, I got this from Hollis Hands Create. But the fabric was made by the Primitive Hair. Yes, it's Primitive Hair fabric. Okay, she'll show it and then I have something to say. Oh, she has something to say. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> the world is vibrating. Oh, boy. So I got this, um, what am I... How much of this did I get? I think a fat half. No, fat quarter. A fat quarter, I mm -hmm. meant to say. Ooh, I know what I'm going to put on this, I think. I actually don't think that's either of those things. It's just, a, is, it's just a cut of it. But I think that the primitive hair has a design that's meant it does. for this. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember what it is. That's okay. Shout it out, if you will. It's um, This is 30 count. 30 count, and it's snowflake? The snowfall. The snowfall. Yes. So, there you go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's really cool. So now I'm going to have to go look at um, mm -hmm. Primitive Hair if she's back from vacation. Yes. She was taking a break from Etsy for a, she was. For a bit and see what um, what pattern is supposed to go on this. But I just liked it. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. And so um, it's Primitive Hair fabric, but I got it from Hollis Hands Create. Correct. So. So the, what I was going to say about the Primitive Hair fabric is. Yeah. So, I can't remember if it was last week or the week before, but I showed um, a piece of, like, old Massachusetts or old New England or right, something right. that I got. <clears throat> and I had seen that, that there was something called, like, old Massachusetts, old New England, whatever. Whatever yeah. the one was that I didn't get. Right. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to look for that in 40 count. And someone, and forgive me, that I forget who actually told me this. I'm very sorry about that. But, as it turns out, the 40 count that I got... That is old New England. Okay. Old Massachusetts, and it only comes, like, old New England only comes in 40 count. Oh. And then, like, old Massachusetts only comes in 32 count, or, like, oh. whatever. You know what I mean? So they're all named independently. Based so, on their count. She's right. Just, okay. So there's no 32 count old New England. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Okay. And um, Stephanie brought me home two or three things. I did. Um... The uh, seventh and eighth panels for Fragments in Time, Tales from the Sea. and From Summer House. From Summer House Stitchworks. So this is um, the, lighthouse. the Lighthouse. That is a full coverage right there for my friends. Yep. Full coverage. Yep. So that's it's number beautiful. seven and eight. And if you watched last week, I showed you that I finished number three. Yep. Right? Yes. And this is number eight. This is the last one. Holy guacamole. And is that is also full coverage? The anchor. Not totally, but mostly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So I'm thrilled to have those because I'm enjoying stitching fragments in time. Yeah. 
um, very much. And I don't want you to set those in the stack and forget where they go. And then this from um, Madame Chantilly. Madame Chantilly. Um, and I just love this because uh, mostly I like this little girl's skirt. She was a big fan of the skirt. I was a big fan of this skirt. This is mm -hmm. called Autumn Delivery. And she's running with the skirt and the cape on. And just look. It's so cute. It's just so cute. And what I didn't realize. And I didn't know until I showed it to her. Yeah, she literally passing it to me. And I was like, oh, look at the back. There's an alternative design on the back. You can make her into a little witch. Isn't How that cute? How cute is that? So whichever look you, whoops. Whichever look you like. Whichever look you like. Like the schoolgirl or whatever you want to call her. Mm -hmm. Or the witch. The schoolgirl. Well, is that, that's, that's, that's what? what it brings to mind. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, that's a vibe. I get it. You have the chart pad st stack, Pam. And why did you put those? Because there? I would need those need to go into a current project, and I don't want them to get lost in the shuffle. Just trying to and look then, out for you. <clears throat> no. <laughs> um, by the Bay Needle Art, and I don't know if any of these are still uh, listed or not, but um, Donna at By the Bay on her Etsy was offering um, two. Two charts. I think there must be, the other two seasons must be somewhere. I didn't look. <laughs> they must be somewhere. Because I gravitate toward fall and winter as right. opposed to spring and summer. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so, Box of, and this is Box of Autumn. Look at those colors, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even just that middle square would be so cute. I know. It's like box of Autumn and Box of Winter, equally as sweet. And you got two of them, PDFs, for $7. What a deal. So, buy the bay on Etsy. What a deal. Yeah. Had to pick those up. Yeah. Um, I may not live long enough to stitch all the buy the bays that I want to stitch. True. She's just starting a new stitch along, too. I saw that. It's really, really pretty. It is. Very, very pretty. Yes. We love Donna. All right. Is that all your haul? That's all mine. Okay. All right. Well. It's most of yours, but I have some of yours over here as well. Um, so, the new, new-ish, uh, the 2021 series from Cottage Garden Samplings, um, she comes out with one a month. The one that Pam showed last week with the big lighthouse. Oh, yeah. And, or the big seagull, the lighthouse, whatever. Right, right. So, there are some of those that I love. There's some of them that Pam loves, whatever, whatever. But all of those are stitched on ancient from picture this plus mm -hmm. so if you are someone who has been looking for picture this plus fabric recently you know that it's about as easy as winning the lottery so when i find for fabric it, or ptp particular ptp oh okay yeah yeah, yeah 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 so when i find a color that i know that i want um then i yeah. buy it did you get that up at the craft gallery? I got some at craft gallery and I got okay. this from one to three. Okay. So I actually had set a reminder from one to three stitch to remind me when 40 count ancient was back in stock. And so this is a fat quarter. And so this is what ancient looks like. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I got a fat quarter of that. Mm -hmm. So, because I love that look, like love it so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I got some charts from Keepsakes as well, of course. Um, so I'm getting the um, Country Cottage Needleworks Sampler of the Month. And this is the October one. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if those are cats or foxes. We think cats. But it's also very small. Yeah. So, but it's super cute regardless. Mm -hmm. So We took a magnifier to it and I think I came up with cats. Thank you. Um, and then this, I thought maybe there'd be an alternate on the back. Um, so this is another Madame Chantilly chart. And this is the third in the series that I acquired. I then got the fourth one at Craft Gallery. So this is Autumn is Coming from Madame Chantilly. We love these guys. The Look bear at them. and the pumpkin. We Look just at, love them. Look at the little mushy he's holding. Mm -hmm. It's a penguin-sized mushy. Yep. It's so cute. Yeah, so love that. Very, very cute. 
And my, I think my favorite one, though, is the winter one because you got a, the little penguins got a little blue suitcase. Mm -hmm. It's freaking cute. I never realized those were mushrooms. You're right. Yeah, they're little mushies. I you know, know how I recognize them? Super Mario Brothers. Thank you. Super Mario. <laughs> um, so, this was a new expo release from Hands to Work. And we unpackaged it, and so I just bought mine and took mine home. And this is called a Merry Heart. And I really love Hands to Work. Like, really love her stuff. So, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And yes, simple, classic, elegant. Love it. Mm -hmm. Here for it. Mm -hmm. A Merry Heart by mm -hmm. Hands to Work. Mm -hmm. That was an expo release. So, mm -hmm. Um, okay, and then this, thank you to someone on Instagram who posted this, and then I was like, just take my money. Just take my money. So, this is from Jeanette Douglas, and she has a whole series of boxes, right? So, the actual hardware of the box, you purchase from Cabrin Mary Woods, and then... But I would certainly look into getting that before it becomes unavailable. Okay. Have the box. I will look into it and see. Yeah. I'm probably, I bet I can find it online somewhere. Yeah. Um, and then, so this is the Christmas box from Jeanette Douglas. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's a box. Uh -huh. Not only is it Christmas, but there's a fox. Right. So, mm -hmm. must get. Um, and then, Gorgeous. so if you look at the supplies list, okay. Oh yeah. So she's got everything from Gloriana's to, um, silken colors, the thread gatherer to, um, a charm and other stuff. Okay. Yep. Weeks dye works, whatever, whatever. And I could easily get full skeins of that stuff, but why get full skeins when you can just get the embellishment bag? That's the way to go. I mean... With Jeanette's stuff, absolutely. So that's got everything, the Glorianas, and, yeah. and you know, and even got the little save so much money charm, and you've just it's just convenient, right? It feels like you're like yikes. I mean, I'm not, I have no bones about telling you this was just under sixty bucks for this, mm -hmm. but you think about more. how many skin, how much a skein yeah. of silk is, you know. Yeah. Plus a charm mm -hmm. by Jupiter, like what? Mm -hmm. I don't know when this. Oh, this chart came out in 2019, so it's not that old. But. Yeah, so. Got that. Very excited about that. Yeah, I got all ready to buy my charms from Jupiter for my Canada oh, that's sampler. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then Jeanette kindly gave me a set oh, of that's right. charms. But yes, I remember that. Um, yeah. Jupiter is a great place to get charms. Yes. Um, okay, so for those of you who have been searching for a while, you might have heard of a designer whose name is Linda Myers. Mm. Um, I remember when we went to the Dixie Darling, mm -hmm. and they have a ton of her stuff. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of, of them were those quilt designs, if yeah, you remember. Like cross-stitch mm -hmm. quilt designs. Right. So um, I actually had a customer who called Keepsakes and wanted to know if we had them. Yeah. We did not, and I recommended that she called Dixie Darling. Yeah. But when she was giving me the name of the chart over the phone, I wanted to look it up, so I just put it into Google and did a Google search. And this chart came up as something by Linda Myers. And I was I've just like, before. I'm like, I must have this chart. Mm -hmm. Like, I must. So, then I did a little bit of research. And as it turns out, there is a Etsy shop called Servant's Heart Designs, which sells the charts, not every single one of them, but a good number of charts by Linda Myers. Oh, wow. So it's called Servants Heart Design. Designs. Okay. And... You should uh, check that out of the plastic. No, I can't because it's not a... Oh, it's not a peel. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So, um, for this particular chart... So, let me show it to you. This one is called The Simple Life. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And these colors in what I'm showing you look super muted compared to like the pictures I saw online. Yeah. So I'm excited about seeing right. it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, the way that this one was available, I don't know about any of the others, but the way that this one was available is two ways. One, with the 14 count Ada, I could not buy it chart only. 
So I had to either get it with the Ada or with the Ada and the DMC. Mm. And I was like, it needs a DMC. I was like, it's fine. I can get my own DMC. Mm -hmm. So, and it was obviously cheaper to get it with just fabric. So right. that's what I did. I'll link the shop below that I got it from, but I love it. I love yeah. it covered. The covered bridge is one of my favorite parts. And this cluster right here. Yeah. It, I love this. It's mm -hmm. so, so great. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Let's show you the haul that we got at the craft gallery. Okay. So for charts, they had, um, okay, so I just talked about this. So this is the fourth in the series from Madame Chantilly, and this is Spring is Coming. Look at him. Mm -hmm. With his little daisy. Mm -hmm. And the hat on the bear. Yeah. I die. Yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. Um, and they had a very a large display of charts from K's frames and designs. Yeah. And seeing the frames like so their charts and then the frames were made for those designs. Yep. And so you they had a bunch of the charts available and then you told them which frames you wanted in the order for you. And so that is what I did with this one because I'm sorry, but it was so cute. Um, and so this one's called Ho Ho Ho. Right. So do you see this little like, I don't know, what is that? It's a pulley. Is it like a bell or whatever? Like a pulley. It's a pulley. See, it's, it's like a, a string and you pull it and his legs swing up. And his arms. And his arms. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And it was so cute. Carlton kept yelling at her, don't knock it off the wall. Quit breaking the merchandise <laughs> is what he said. <laughs> but it's so cute. Yeah. So um, we uh, we ordered the frame as well. So um, we'll grab yeah. that one. They had the whole time. selection up on the wall. Yeah, it was great. a really cool display. And then um, one thing that Paula does is with the finish, with the framed pieces that belong to customers while they wait to be picked up, is she hangs them up in the back of the store yep and it's awesome to go in and see other pieces and those so it's like new shop models every time but they're not real shop models you know what i'm saying so someone had dropped off a whole slew of hawk run hollows all of them so, nope not all of them oh no shorts. there was there was no short no shores was there um mary ellen's year was there oh yeah those were underneath but then they didn't have Halloween. They had houses. They had houses. They had uh, the map. They had right. um, the village. Right. They had farms. And they had spring. Right. And I've seen the design before, obviously, but I was like, meh, not for me. <laughs> I kept, I couldn't stop looking at it. Yeah. It was did. so beautiful. Forever. I did. It was so pretty. So, bought the chart. Yeah. Spring. So, spring at Hawthorn Hollow. Haven't seen too many people stitch this one. No, I so that'll be either. fun. So I just think it's really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. And Love yes, the frame too. yeah, the frame is super, super cute. Um, there's a lot of blue in it, which is nice. Yes, and there's a hot air balloon. Really? Yes, and it says, "Arise, my love, my favorite one, my fair one, and come away." Wow. Yep, I just think it's so, so sweet, and the kites and tulips and yes. Mm -hmm. And it's just really, really pretty. So these pictures are deceiving. Um, and so this, um, the models were stitched on 40 counts using the silk. And so that's, oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, like, where do I sign? Right. So pretty. Right. Um, and so if you've ever been to yeah. craft gallery, you know that. What did Sue say on Facebook? Um, Mm -hmm. Sue said, walking through Carlton's display <coughs> of fabrics is like walking through a flower garden or something, something to that That's effect. awfully sweet. Yeah, That's well, awfully you know, sweet. Sue's awfully sweet. It's very, very true. So, got some fabric. Yeah. Um, so, I got another piece of 40 Counts Ancient, mm -hmm. which is a lot more modeled. Mm -hmm. I know. No, not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. um, so now I have a fat half of this for those. So that's awesome. And then for the one that Pam wants to stitch with the lighthouse and the seagull, she got herself some 32 count yeah. ancient. For that one. Yeah, that chart I showed last week. Pro tip. 
when we went to craft gallery on Thursday, yeah, they had just gotten in a huge shipment of picture this plus fabric. So if you were looking for a particular color, I will put their information in the box below. Like a phone number. Like a phone number. Yeah. Just call it was them. all stacked up. Carlton was doing inventory. Yes. It was like Christmas. Catch the drool. Yes. <laughs> we did not drool on the fabric, we promise. No, we didn't. Um so they're closed Mondays though. And mm. they're obviously closed tomorrow because it's holiday. Right. So right. call them first thing Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Um and then I also got a couple other pieces. I got a fat quarter of 40 count murky. Mm, love it, love it, love it. Love murky, love it, love it, love it so much. And then um, this is thanks to Kia. <laughs> because she um, was looking for a particular fabric for a particular project. And so I was on the phone with her and I was listening to the colors that they had. And she was like, ooh, that one. I think that one's going to work. And so she had me get her a fat half of it. And then I said, can I have a fat quarter of what's left, please? So I got a fat quarter of Storm. Yeah. It's, a good, it's just a good winter it, it blue. It really is a good winter blue. You know, mm -hmm. for whites to pop. Yeah. So. Beautiful. That's what we got at Craft Gallery. Yep. Okay. And then the um, the last bit of haul is um, we were doing a little bit of retail therapy early, we did. a couple we weeks did. ago. I saw this fabric and um, uh, I love this fabric and uh, So Much to Love posted it on Instagram yes. and I ran over and and uh, got it and I got the what I call the big bottom one. Um, the fat bottom girl. The fat bottom girl. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a big bag. Um, I'm going to put uh, Halloween and Hawk Run in here. Yeah. Um, but this is um, from So Much to Love Project Bag. I love this fabric. Love, and it's love, funny love. because you currently have Hawk Run in a another So Much to Love bag, but not a fat bottom girl. And you need a yeah, fat bottom needs, girl for it. it's a big piece. Yeah. Yeah. And look at that black check. Love it. And while I was there, Steph was at work. Mm -hmm. While I was there, like I went to, to Idaho. I walked. <laughs> no, I walked to Etsy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> while I was at Etsy, I walked from my recliner to the dining room table to the computer. Yeah. Um, I saw this other one, and I sent a picture to Steph, and I said, "Don't you want this one?" And she was like, "Yes, please." Yes. yes please. Look at this. Love it. I yeah. love the man of the moon. Yeah. And if you look, there's even little 31s. I, behind. I didn't see that. Steph had to point that out. And this is me and that is Pam. And we sit in a tree together. <laughs> it's a wonder the branch it's isn't broken branch. off. Right. Uh, and That's before the branch yeah. broke. See the 31. Pam. <laughs> Rude. It's a sturdy branch, okay? Um... <laughs> You say that like I sit on anything. What's in the break. inside of that one? Look I'm like? about to show Pam. You stop making fun of me. And then, <laughs> oh, I yeah, like that. And it obviously matches the yeah. Outside, so. yeah. Um, love. Don't know whether there's any more of these, but but we'll link her shop below because absolutely all of her we love bags her. are fantastic. Right. All right. So so that was what we bought this week. Add, Add to, to cart. cart. Okay. Congratulations. All right. We have um, some people to say thank you to. Some people to say thank you to, and yes. you saw the result of the Buy Me a Coffee framing donations. Yeah, um, and we thank you most sincerely, and we, we really especially most sincerely do. And we mostly want to thank the most recent donors, and um, they are. First names only, no amounts. Right. Laura and Donna and Anna and someone who would like to remain anonymous. Right. And Anna, I think uh, it looked like she might have been, been Sweden? from Sweden. Well, that's so cool. That totally blew my mind. Love so, that. Thank you. And the link below um, takes you to buy me a coffee. And um, I hope that um, you've enjoyed a little bit of this visit. 
um, and that you may be motivated to help us continue with our framing. Um, we're fortunate um, that we have such a great framer. Yes. Um, so, so let's uh, talk plans. Let's talk plans. So next weekend, um, we will not be here. Right. We're going to be on the road. <clears throat> and um, so that means that um, next week, the, what is it? The 12th? Yes, the 12th. Sure. There will be no Just Keep Stitching video right. on the 12th. Yeah. Um, Our video will be late, basically. We're pretty confident that we'll get one in on the Monday following or day or the Tuesday after. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Monday or the Tuesday. But uh, Sunday will be a travel day for us, and so we, we don't pull in the driveway and set Sit up to do a floss to No, ma'am. No way. So we'll be a little bit late next week, so we wanted to let you know about that. Yes. And, and then, we'll tell you all about where we're going and what we did and who right. we saw and all the things. Right. And then it's our um, first retreat of the year. We're very excited. Yes. Um, the um, rest of uh, the video is going to be um, Stephanie showing um, a, her stickers. St her stickers. Yes. And so if that doesn't interest you, um, see you later. See you later. Yeah. See you next week. Thanks for joining in. Mm -hmm. If you would like to see some of her adorable stickers, um, that's coming up next. Yes. Okay. So. Um, so, as you know, me and my girls, Kia and Liz, um, at Hello from Liz Matthews, um, we have a lot of things in common, and uh, stickers now is um, one a big thing that we're into. So, if you follow along with Liz's journey with stickers, which sounds like a really strange sentence, <laughs> um, she has been doing this thing called memory planning. Kia does a lot more functional planning because she's got three kids and she homeschools and like jobs and projects and all these things. Not that we don't have things going on, but um, functional planning in an actual physical planner doesn't work for me. Um, and so the idea of this memory planning really appeals to me. I had no idea that such a thing existed. Um, and believe it or not, I have a life outside of cross stitch. It's a very small life. <laughs> um, but when it comes to like, so I've been using my book of days, at, as you know, as a tracking my projects. But there are other like things that happen like this week, the StitchCon waitlist opened. Um, and like things that happen this week that when expo happened like all of this stuff and retreats are starting up and we've got lots of things planned for the fall exactly that like that i want to i don't want to crowd up my stitch tracking with the, that stuff right, right um and so um i decided to dive head first with kia holding one leg and liz holding the other into um the planner world right out expanding my book of daysness so yes my birthday is not till december but since we got talking about it kia my sweet 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 best friend bought me and she really is the expert in the sticker department with the three of us um and so she got me my first erin condren planner because listening to what i wanted to do with the planner she said this was what you should get for what you want to do so that it's this is what this is an aaron condren life planner and you can personalize it so this is for it this doesn't start until january 2022 so this is my planner I'm very excited about it. Hold it up close so they can see all the pictures. So there's a personalization option where you can obviously add your own pictures and your name and then... Look at how thick that is. Yeah. Thick. I'm excited to see how thick it is once all the stickers are in too. Yeah. So, um, I mean the stickers aren't super thick, but... So then, and this is the vertical layout. So then... When you go to, so like we started January, so it gives you the full monthly layout, but then it breaks it down into each week, right? So, this is where the stickers come in. 
So then I haven't exactly, of course, figured out like my timeline. Like when am I going to stick her? I don't really know. I haven't figured that out yet. But instead of like necessarily recording like appointments and that kind of thing, it's like a reflection of okay. what you did gotcha. that day or week right. or whatever. Right. Um, I've, there's also like a ton of planner with plan with me videos on YouTube. It's like a whole thing. I did not know it existed until <laughs> thank you, Kia. Um, but it's, it's really cool for me to get ideas about, you know, how you want to lay your stuff out and all that. I think Liz does like every night she sits down and does that day sticker layout. But I've seen people who have sat down with the week blank and stickered the whole week. And then they go back in and they fill in the blanks. So I'm I think I'm going to predict that you'll be better able to do it by the week. Yes, that's yeah, exactly. Like, Cause some nights I'm just like so busy. You're not going to be able to do it every, every single night. night. Right. But and you, that's what I do with my book of days too. It's like, yeah, at a certain point Look back at the week. Yes. Kind of like what we do on our floss tube is think about the Correct. past week. Correct. Yeah. So, um, where the stickers come in <laughs> is, um, each one of these, day blocks is 1.9 inches by 1.5 inches I'm pretty sure um, but they're all the same obviously so there is such a thing as weekly planner sticker kits and they come in there's a whole variety out there in the world a bunch of amazing people that make them but you could buy them based on the theme of the month or if there's a particular event happening that week and you want it for that week. And so it's been so fun just to see like the things that the kits and stickers that I'm drawn to, the stickers and kits that Liz is drawn to. And Kia doesn't even buy kits. She buys like more functional stickers as opposed to kits. Now, just because these fit into each box on the planner doesn't mean that that's only what they can be used for. You can take these kits and put them in your book of days or use them in your book of days or use them in another planner, put them on your face. I don't care, but they're made the size wise is for the Aaron Condren vertical planner, whatever vertical layout. So I'm going to show you the ones I got and where I got them from because I love them. So the first one, there's a lot of people that are on Etsy um, and so Etsy is a really great resource for that. Um, what I found in the last few weeks of buying stickers is that a lot of these makers in conjunction with having an Etsy also have a website and sometimes it's cheap. Uh, most of the time it's cheaper. Um, and you get a, usually a, a code of some kind for a discount if you use their website because they don't have to pay Etsy fees. So. There's that, something to keep in mind. So the first one is called Charlotte's Paper. And I basically want everything that she makes. So um, at Charlotte's Paper, and I am, this is how disgustingly organized I am. I have a folder on our desktop of our laptop that's called Seth's Weekly Stickers. Every time I buy a sticker kit, I take a screenshot of that kit that I bought. I put it in that folder and I figure out what week of 2022 it's going to be used for. So all these stickers will be used in 2022. So this one will be in January. And then these are all individual ones too. Now I'm not going to show, so I'll show you what these kits come with, but I'm not going to do that for all of them because it'll be here forever. So there's this one. And then each of these blocks fits in one of those squares on the book. And then you get this one. Little icons in the weekend. And then you get this one. And so you have all the days. And you literally just take these off and sticker them over what's currently written in the planner. And then this with like to do and all that. Look at the little TVs. Aren't they cute? Okay. So that's what comes in a Charlotte's paper kit. So then I got this one for February. And then this next one, I don't really know what month I'm going to use it for. I'm thinking August. But it's s'mores. And I love s'mores. I'm a big s'mores fan. And then... This one, I think it's going to end up in October. 
But, like, these would be really cute in your book of days, too. So, and you can buy just this sheet. You don't have to buy the whole kit and caboodle, literally. <laughs> um, and then I also got, if you have watched this channel for long enough, you know how important to be my birthday is. So, <laughs> I got a whole birthday kit. Is that the square? Yeah. Freaking cute. So that's what I got from Charlotte's paper. Then, um, I there is another company that I got called Lux Kitty Designs on Etsy. This one is going to be for Stitch Away in January. Isn't it perfect? So there's eight boxes here, right? Seven days in a week. So one of these I probably will not use and it will be that one because I don't need a Brooklyn Bridge. But see how they've got the whole kind of same deal in there, which is really cool. So will I use every last sticker? Probably not, but because that's a lot to put in one week. But So that's Lux Kitty and you get a little thank you with the coupon code, which is cool. And then the last one I have to show you is from Cricut Paper Company. And they send this really cool um, thank you card. And so this one, all you quilting people out there, this one I think I'm going to put in September next year. Look at that. Look at the little quilts. How cute is that? Like how much talent, like so talented. And the same deal. And when I first saw these, I was like, what do you use those for? And they put them in there and then they fill in the, they're like check boxes. Oh yeah, yeah, For like yeah. doing stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then look at this freaking Halloween kit. Are you dead? Isn't it so cute? So, super, super, super cute. And these, um, look at the glitter. So, <clears throat> super, super fun. Unique colors for, um, Halloween. Yes. So, it's, and because right now, I mean, it's September. Yeah. And, um, so, anyway. So, I, I love it. I, I'm really excited about it. I think it's cool. I know it's not cross-stitch related, but... I feel like people have generally been really receptive mm -hmm. to the sticker segments mm -hmm. on Just Keep Stitching. So and you just happened to get a bunch this week. I did. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I will make sure to link all of those shops below. Erin um, Condren, her website's great. You can look on there if that's something you're interested in. Cool. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about it. Um, I'm not an expert though, so um, I'm learning right along with a lot of people. So it's it um, it's been really really fun to do that with my best girlfriends. It's, it's been really fun. So yeah, it has been. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, you. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it for us for this week. Yeah, and um, we thank you most sincerely for dropping by and spending some time with us. We know it's on the long side, and so if you've made it this far, you might have had to break it up mm -hmm. and. Um, spread it out over the week which is great because next week we're going to be a little bit late right there so you go. That's it exactly all works right. out right. right um so with that being said um we need to uh get some, get <coughs> dinner some, get some dinner going and you're gonna be okay yep i really have to <laughs> pee though <laughs> just so you know so. okay so we're gonna wrap it up here folks i mean i i can hold it as long as i need to I'm training for next week. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you have done All those people that left at the sticker section are now mad. <laughs> They're never going to know about that little quip. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Always stay to the very end. Always. If you possibly can. If you can, stay to the very end. There'll always be a prize for you. Yeah. All right. Well, have a great week. Get those stitches in yeah. and um, enjoy your week. We'll see you uh early next week but not right on sunday right all right in the meantime i'm pam and i'm stephanie and this is just, just keep, keep stitching, stitching. bye, bye.